Hey everybody, welcome to part 3 of my updated AirPods user guide and tutorial, how to use your AirPods with other Apple devices and more. In this 4 part video series, I'll be going over how to set up your AirPods using iOS 12 and sharing everything you need to know about them, including how to use them with all of your various Apple devices and showing you how to both use and customize them to meet your needs. So stay tuned! Using your AirPods with other Apple devices is actually really simple once you have them set up with your iPhone. On your Mac, just click on the Bluetooth control on the menu bar and scroll down to your AirPods, then move the pointer right and click connect. That is pretty user friendly. But if you'd like, you could even create a little automator app to connect them with one click from your dock. If you're interested in learning more about that, check out my video, Connect AirPods to your Mac with a single click. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. To connect your AirPods to your iPad, just go to Control Center by swiping down from the upper right corner in iOS 12 or by swiping up in iOS 11. Then you can either press the quarter round buttons in the upper right corner if they're present, to go straight to the audio output control or long press the music control section and then press the audio output selector button to choose your AirPods. On your Apple Watch, as demonstrated on the new Apple Watch Series 4 with WatchOS 5, make sure you're on the main watch face. Then swipe up to access the Apple Watch Control Center and scroll down to the audio output selector. Press the audio output button and choose your AirPods. It's that simple. And to connect them back to your iPhone, it's very similar to the iPad. Just go to Control Center by swiping down from the upper right corner on your iPhone 10 or newer, or swiping up on a Touch ID model, and then press the two quarter circle buttons in the upper right if present, or 3D press the music control section, and then the audio output button, and choose your AirPods. It's also worth noting that there's more than one way to connect your AirPods to each device. For example, you can also select your AirPods for the music app on your Apple mobile devices by pressing the audio output button. This method even works in iTunes on your Mac. And on your Apple Watch, when you're in the music app, the audio output selection menu will pop up once you find a song or album you want to play. You can also connect them from the given device's Bluetooth menu, but I find Control Center to be the most convenient way most of the time. I'd also like to take the opportunity to let you know that you can connect your AirPods to your Windows computer or even an Android device if you like. If you'd like to learn more about either of those, check out my videos, How to Set Up AirPods on a Windows 10 Computer or AirPods with your Android Device, to show you how. I'll leave links for those videos in the description below. And finally, it may surprise you to learn that you can also connect your AirPods to an older Mac or even a different Mac that's not using the same iCloud account as your iPhone. If you'd like to learn how to set that up, you can check out my video, How to Set Up AirPods on Any Mac Without iCloud, Including Older Macs. Don't forget to check out part 4 of the updated AirPods user guide and tutorial, AirPods, daily user tips and bonus tricks. And if you haven't already, also check out part 1, AirPods basic setup and user guide, and part 2, how to customize your AirPods. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part 4, AirPods, daily user tips and bonus tricks.